What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're going to be looking at some of the craziest world downloads that I could find online. We've put all the links down in the description below so you can go and download these worlds, play on them, check them out, whatever you want. We're starting off with a very cool medieval build world. This is built by a few different builders. They have links uh, to all their builds on their YouTube. Uh, it's built by Jados, Naba, and Nazdas and they've built some crazy medieval things on this world. Very detailed castles and a lot of really cool stuff. The thing I love about this world is how detailed it is inside all the buildings. Uh, if you look here, there's a giant town, big fields of wheat, and then over on this water, we have a Spanish castle, and this thing looks insanely cool. It's built all out of sandstone and stone, and it looks very cool, it's very detailed, and I really like this build. The surrounding area is all terraformed using, I believe, World Painter, and it looks very good and fits all the designs that they have in this world so far. They've put items in a lot of the chests throughout the world. There's gold nuggets, there's shields, there's swords. Anything that would fit the area that the chest is in, it's there. This would definitely be a very fun world to download and just play around on, maybe add some of your own builds, or create just, you know, kind of your own RPG type game out of it. The next world we have is by Elysium Fire, so as you suspect, it is an insane world. There is so much going on here and it is very beautiful. The data packs that they have and texture packs make it look very cool with the sky and things like that. There is a parkour map that basically goes around the whole area and it leads to different mini games and things you can unlock. Uh, but the detail in this is also just insane, especially with the uh, different blocks and things that they use. They have this giant volcano with giant quartz protruding out of it, lava flowing down the sides, and then crazy looking plants and things like that to make it look completely out of this world. The mini games that you can unlock are the Dropper, an Elytra Race, Quake, and a TNT Run. Uh, this goes all around with the uh, parkour and it gives you little portals so you can go to each minigame. Some of them are multiplayer so you'll probably want to play this with a friend. I really love touring the world and seeing all that they had done with it. The next world download we have for you guys is Subnautica by Tridar. This is a very cool world, a lot going on here. You got farms underwater, you have a big tree area and loads of tunnels that go to different areas of the world. This one specifically goes to an area where the base was attacked by giant sea monsters and it's all completely underwater now and you can't really do anything. It's a very cool map design and I really love checking out this world. This map would definitely be a lot of fun to play on uh, just to see what other things you could build around considering you're only in water and it's a completely underwater world. So it's definitely a very interesting concept and I really love touring this world. The designs and details and all of the builds were very cool and I really love checking out this one. The next map that we have for you guys is Malavir the Land of Darkness by Paralon. This is a very cool hellscape built all on an island and it is very cool to check out. It was done a lot in World Painter and it has massive volcanoes and a lot of really crazy terrain. There are some trees that you can find if you do enough exploring, so it is definitely possible to do a survival world in this. Uh, it would definitely be uh, quite an adventure though, so good luck if you decide to try it out. This is the massive volcano in the center of all of these mountains, and it looks very cool. It goes very deep as well, and there's definitely some mobs down there, so be careful if you're playing this in survival. Here we go, here are some trees that you can find. Uh, no leaves though, so you're not going to get any saplings, this is what you get. But there are plenty of logs there, so you probably won't run into any shortages if you're not doing anything crazy. There are a lot of really cool world painter maps out there. I chose this one just because of how unique and different it is, uh, considering it's a giant hellscape and reminds me a lot of the nether. If the nether had been built in the overworld with tons of mountain ranges. This map is definitely the biggest that we've toured today. It is 5,000 by 5,000 and definitely takes some time to tour around the whole island. I had to put my render distance up to like 36 chunks just to be able to load in uh, a good amount of this map at the same time. 
So if you're trying to do a flying tour like I'm doing here, it is definitely going to take a pretty beefy PC to be able to load everything in. The final map download that we have for you guys today is actually one that we are doing a series on. So this one is a Harry Potter Adventure World map and when I downloaded it I meant to put it in for this video and it ended up being a very fun adventure map so we decided to do a little walkthrough in it and it is very fun so far so I would definitely recommend checking this out especially if you're a Harry Potter fan who plays Minecraft. There is so much detail that went into this map and it is very fun to play. Uh, there's Diagon Alley, Pivot Drive, and Hogwarts and there is definitely so much to do in this. You can spend hours on this map and you wouldn't even notice. So I would definitely recommend giving this map a playthrough. It is super fun and I would highly recommend it. Also, if you just want to see us play through it, definitely check out the link in the description below to our previous video and it'll be right there. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We put out a ton of different Minecraft content and I'm sure you'll enjoy something else. That concludes our list of the five best world downloads. If you liked any of these maps, be sure to check out the links in the description so you can download them for yourself and just tour around or play through them. Whatever you want to do, it is all up to you once you download it. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.